Welcome to another Arduino project called Passive Buzzer. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel as we will be doing a lot of projects on Arduino. So let's begin. The things needed for this project is a passive buzzer, the one that doesn't have a sticker on it, and two male to female connector wires, red and black. The passive buzzer has a positive and negative marking on it. Install a black wire on the negative marking. Install a positive wire on the positive pin. It should look like that. On the Arduino, install a pin on ground and pin 8. So let's do some coding. We first start by putting some code before setup. This is how you include a library. Now, if you need to install this library, I will have another video on how to install this library. But for now, this is how you type it. And now the next line is an array. And this is how you do an array. And this is a list of notes. So we start with the array called melody as an integer and we're going to label it with the following notes note c5 and then note d5 etc and you can take a look at this and type it on your computer Note that at the very end, don't forget to put the semicolon. So now we make another integer, something called duration. And we start that with 500. And that's in milliseconds, so that's about half a second. So now let's take a look at the loop. The loop is going to play the tones. So we're going to use a for loop and we're going to use this note as the index or the counter. So we're going to start it at zero and then it has to be less than eight. So we're running it from zero to eight and it's counting by one. So what's inside of that loop, we're going to use a command called tone and it's going to use pin eight and it's going to play the melody for the first one. Actually, it's going to play the melody for zero through eight and then its duration is going to be 500 as you saw at the top and that braces at the end of this note plus plus will be fixed to a parentheses. So now we need to add a delay between each note. So it's about one second delay. So we're going to add another delay after it.
and two second delay before the loop starts over again. Now some extra information here, if you forget which brace is what, you can just click the other one like I did and the other side will light up. So if you click on that, it'll show you where they go. If you click on that, you can see it's not lighting up on that one. Ah, now I found the error. So when that is replaced with a parentheses, now if you click on that one, there, the top one by loop lights up. So a lot of extra information on how to debug or fix your software. So using that check mark is a verify to check the code. And this is what an error looks like. So I forgot to put these square brackets after melody, which signifies it's an array. When you put those in and click the check mark, it will clear and that looks good. So now we hit the right arrow and send the code to the Arduino. The buzzer now plays. So as you can see, it is doing a C scale. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You'll have a lot of fun doing a lot of projects. Remember, most important thing is to keep on learning.